it's a lie. Namdekanu is very much alive and was well treated. He's only looking for a way out of detention. DSS boss raised alarm. All right, my people, we greet you all this very um, afternoon. This is the Lord TV. Yeah, we are here once again to give it to you just as we actually did in the morning time. Um, this issue of Namde Kano being poisoned, in fact, is hitting the wall it's very hard. It's seriously hitting the wall and people are not happy. People are not happy. You need to go out there and see what the people are talking about. Yes. You see, President Mokwari, I would say it that Pari is really stepping on a very um, dangerous toes. He, he must, maybe he has forgotten um, the position that the United Nations is and also who they are regarded to be. Yes, that is what I think he has forgotten. But be that as it may, it is very clear that we, that uh, Mazi Namdekanu is not well taken care of. Forget whatever the DSS officer is trying to say or uh, forget whatever I claim is trying to, to portray. You understand? Namdekanu was not properly taken care of. If he was properly taken care of, it would have been very, very clear. Okay? Let's check the content, my dear listeners. This is today's news. The Department of State Services, DSS, has dismissed claims of poisoning the embattled leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Namdekanu, in his court study. DSS claimed that Kanu is being treated well in its facility and so cannot be denied access to his doctor. According to them, the issue with Kanu was political. Hence, Nigerians should discontinue the report of poisoning. This was according to a statement by an operative of the DSS on the ground of anonymity. He said, Namdekanu can't be denied access to his doctors, and what is happening to him is political. Even if the prisoner is a hardened criminal, we treat him well, so Kanu's case is not different. There is no truth in the claim that TSS is poisoning Kanu. It's all a lie. He has access to his doctor. However, he has his medical issues, but he is not denied access to his doctors. You know, we should not expect anything good from IPO. Their issue and agenda are against the government, so disregard all these reports. You should disregard it. So what efforts are you people making to make sure that Namde Kano is out of that very detention? Hmm? What efforts? What action? That is it. So, if you are trying to say that uh, the IPOP members are putting up lies, okay, we need a proof. Because it is clear that, yes, Namdekan was poisoned. The poison was diagnosed. It was diagnosed. If it was not diagnosed, that would have been a different ball game. But it was diagnosed. And now you are claiming that he was given access to his doctor, of which it was made clear that Nam the Kanu, despite the treatment administered on him, the, 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 the poison was still showing on him. So, and the person you claim that is administering treatment to Martin Nam the Kanu is not even his doctor. And you see, you have, he has access to his doctor. So why the lie? That is a problem with this country. That is a problem with Nigeria. We can never be straight. Not for once. Never for once. Just because we want to achieve our stated objective.
is well. It is well. All right, my people, you've heard it already and you've seen it. Um, please, let's quickly hear from you and let's know what's your own take and what's your own opinion on all that has just been taken note of, maybe. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.